Welcome to my reaction to episode 107 of Gintama. We played soccer last time, which was apparently filler. I had no idea. I thought it was really funny. thought it was fun. So, I don't know. Might never see that guy again. <laughs> he might have died. His uh, balls exploded. So, uh, maybe we don't want to see him again. But that was a fun time. So, I have no idea what's going to happen now. We're starting with Genpachi Sensei, apparently. So, let's get into it. See what happens in three, two, one. I don't think I watched even a second of the preview, so I have no idea what's going to happen this time. Uh, I don't like... Okay. I guess that seems... I was going to say 50-ish. <clears throat> okay. Don't don't go back and look. It's fine. We can't always put like a ton of people on screen. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um this guy <laughs> Great. Good. So yeah, what's uh what's going on with this old guy? <clears throat> sure, why not? Okay, slowly walking away, slow zoom. He's a little angry. Does he not? Oh, he doesn't like the Komainu. And uh, okay, sure, why not? Whatever. <clears throat> So I'm recording this during the time where my channel is dealing with copyright strikes and might be deleted, and I also can't upload. So I don't know if, when I'm going to upload this or where. You'll see it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, that was lame. But that happened. Videos that have been up for like five years just suddenly... Hit me with all the copyright strikes all at once, and there's nothing I can do about it. But subscribe, check out the Patreon. These videos will go up somewhere sometime, so, you know. I'm not gonna let you stop me from watching Gintama, YouTube, and Shueisha. God damn it, Shueisha. I'm. <laughs> I've been watching Gintama and been talking about so many of your properties for so long, and look what you did to me. Look what you've done. Oh, nice. Nice bar, cigar stash, a chandelier. This car is decked out. Fancy schmancy. They seem pretty happy about it. What? Where? What is this place? What is this guy's position? Don't count on it. Do not count on getting money from your job. At the moment's notice, your channel could be deleted, so don't count on it.
Hello? That's uh, not scary at all. <laughs> what is this that we've walked into? <laughs> oh my god. Children don't know what's in their parents' hearts. Uh, sure. Uh, you don't really know what's in anybody's heart. Well, these guys are uh, not the friendliest looking bunch. <clears throat> I don't know why they've made the subtitle so fucking big. Mashirao, Mashiroi Kaguzo. Pure white. I'm gonna get the cocaine. <clears throat> oh no! Okay. My son became a hikikomori, and I need you to save him from his degenerate lifestyle. Don't be like the cursed sword all over again where his mom just killed him. <laughs> Five years! It, what, is there a bathroom in there? <clears throat> Does he have food? Like, what's the situation in this warehouse? I I was about to say, how do you know he's even still in there? Like, what if he actually left secretly? Can you hear him? Okay, so he is in there and they bring him food. But is there a bathroom? Cool, cool. And they get him what he wants. He just won't let himself be seen. Okay, we need to mend the father-son relationship in the Yakuza. Get this guy to maybe leave the building. What the hell's he doing in there? I think it's gonna be more complicated than that. I don't- Whoa! I don't know what he's doing in there, but they're gonna get wrapped up in something. If they just wanted to drag him out, they could do that. And now you've angered them. How do you... How do you wander into a cage? I don't know, but we got riot gear. Is that a window up there? That seems open? You just go in. We're gonna have to get inside and talk face to face, right? That seems like what you'd have to do. Okay, a note. No. What? Okay, it's some kind of reference. All right. They got a bad score, that's all that really matters.
That's a good strategy. Make him, uh, entice him to want to come outside. But what you're doing right here is not going to do that. Like, you're just grilling a little tiny bit of meat. I, that's going to entice him after being holed up in there for five years. Like, you got to have a big, giant party. Damn, girl! Okay, what else is there to your strategy? Okay. I just don't think you've come across a single good idea yet. What now? You're down to the final one already? Blow it up! Have Kagura... L oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say she'll pick up the building. But they just shot at it again. My god. These Yakuza are fairly uh, lenient, though. They keep threatening to kill them, but they're not doing it. <laughs> but, it, yeah, that might... It looked like it was written in blood. <laughs> he got hit. He's dead. What the fuck? I see. So why did the episode start? Okay, it's uh, it's weird because the episode started with this guy as a kid. And I was like, why? When we're not even focusing on him anymore. But now here he is. He was like an elder brother to the guy who's in the building. So what's the deal with the Komainu? Oh shit. God damn. The hell's wrong with him? He said he doesn't have much time left. I guess he really meant it. He actually has something, some issue. I'm gonna get that guy out of there. Or get in there to talk to him. I have no idea what's going to happen with this at all. I have no idea where this is going. I can't imagine this would be a two-parter, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll grow into something bigger, because we started with that flashback, and I don't know what it had to do with anything. So, maybe it'll be long? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. It's kind of, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious myself. Okay, though, there is... There's a window up there. You could break through that window. That's him. Okay, just trying to make his own way in life. 
leave behind that life that he didn't like, get his own honest job. That's fucked. Yeah, they went and uh, didn't just fuck with him, but the well-being of everybody else there, too. And he got fired for it. Yeah, his father, that was a dick move. I guess he realized after a while what he had done and what he was missing. Holding yourself up isn't the appropriate response either, though. Whatever uh, happened to him, whatever illness this is, has probably made him, you know, softer, made him want to see his son. And again, I, I was wondering earlier, like, is he doing something in there? Like, is there going to be some something going on in there that you, that's of importance? Seems like probably no. It seems like he's just holding himself up in there just because he doesn't want to see his dad. Does he have, like, video games in there? What's, what's he do with his time? <laughs> Yeah, you can punch him in the face if you want, as long as you go see him. That's fine, too, I guess. Oh, shit. The door's opening. And what did he just do on his phone? What's going on here? This is rather mysterious. Okay... What's going on? What is this guy doing? This Kyojiro guy. What's... He left. He's dead? What the fuck? Okay, this is interesting. Oh, that's kind of, That's a cool story idea. I was like, I don't know where this is going. I'm not sure what we're doing here. And then... Okay. They thought he's been holed up in there the whole time. And it, they've just... There's been some other plot going on here from this guy... Who wants to probably, like, take power for himself or something. He apparently killed him. If he's to be believed. He just hires people to go in there and pass out notes. I don't know how he switches them all out in secret. Got shot, damn. What a great job. Just go sit in the shack and watch TV for a little while and pass out notes saying what you want to eat and that's your job. <laughs> I guess they get paid. That's what I questioned at first. I said maybe he's not even in there. <laughs> so yeah, you wanted him gone. So you got rid of him yourself. Yeah, I mean... He thinks his son has been in there the whole time. He's been trying to see him. And he's just been dead the whole time, and he had no idea. That sucks. Not a great dad, but that sucks. So he did lock himself in there. But only for a while. <clears throat> I 
Okay, what do we got? Like 20 guys, 20, 30 guys? Let's fuck them up. Oh shit, what happened? There was something on the bullet? What an ass. I think they do. Oh no, and the sake. That makes sense. I forgot about the sake. Okay, fight off all these guys while poisoned. <laughs> what a badass. Is he gonna need help? Okay, run away for now. One arm, too. I'd still buy it if he beat them all by himself, but it seems like he's gonna need help. Oh, now there's even more guys. Yeah. Kagura, Shinpachi, come back! Uh, okay, we'll just he'll just keep fighting by himself. All right, sure. Damn, that's a big ah. Uh, one arm poison, big ass slash on his back. He's gonna get tired from fighting all these guys. There's still a lot. There's still a lot of them. Oh shit! Shot again. Damn, things aren't going well for Gentoki. Fuck. This is serious. Well, this sucks. That's a horrible turn up. They just wanted to get this kid out of his house. And now it's turned into this bullshit. Bunch of shenanigans. Well, you let him fall into the water, so he'll definitely escape. That's how that always happens. You could have fired again. You could have shot multiple times, right? Did he die? Yeah. It's probably better for him that he never found out that his son had died. Although, I don't know, I mean... If he had... I mean, it was probably pretty rough on him, thinking, dying, thinking that his son hated him, and that he'd been hiding from him for five years, but also knowing that he was killed all these years ago, and also that he did hate you. <laughs> That'd be, I mean, it's probably better that he didn't know, honestly. He could at least die thinking that his son was alive and had any kind of chance at happiness and life. Rough situation. Okay, we are going into a two-parter. I, I wasn't sure. That was very unpredictable. It was kind of uninteresting at first, because I was just like, okay, we're going to get him out of the house. Okay. Not that, not like super funny and just kind of a simple story. But I was curious where it might go. I kind of expected a comedic plot where they'd get in there and he'd be a weird guy and he'd be doing all kinds of weird things. But then it, it took a very serious turn. And it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's very similar to the arc we just had with the Shinsengumi, somebody trying to vie for the top spot. But, yeah. Just having that little flashback with Kyojiro at the beginning kind of signaled that it might be a little more important than it initially seemed. And, and yeah. That suddenly took a dark turn. That was a cool little twist. That was a cool idea for the story. And then Gintoki just got fucked up, so this is actually pretty serious. Um, I don't know how many episodes it'll be, but it's going into at least another one. So, damn. That's cool. Gintama can have me be like, okay, I don't really know where this is going. I don't know if I'm that into this. It's, is it going to be just comedic? And then it just gets, uh, there's a big twist and it gets really serious and then we go into another part. It's like, holy shit. All right, what a surprise. See, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about when I, uh, I don't want to know if there's a two-parter coming up or if something is going to be comedic or serious. I had no idea what I was getting into with this episode at all. And so that was a huge surprise with where it went. So, yeah, um, I'm going to watch the next one right now. So thank you for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, Patreon, all that crap. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.